If you have any type of inflammation, by the way, anything that ends in itis is inflammation. I'm gonna show you exactly what a body looks like with inflammation. So if you've been looking for foods or ways to reduce that inflammation, this is a very important video and could help you out a lot. So be sure to bookmark it and save it for later. If you floss your teeth and your gums bleed, you have inflammation. Here's some examples of what inflammation looks like on the skin. And by the way, anything that ends with itis is inflammation. Like dermatitis, sometimes it can be on the face. Sometimes us dudes will try to grow a beard and cover it all up. Every itis is inflammation. Arthritis in your hands, inflammation of the colon, also known as ulcerative colitis, inflammation of the lungs, also known as bronchitis. Inflammation is what the body uses to defend itself. It's a defense mechanism like it's trying to protect you. If you've had an injury, inflammation can feel like your friend because it's trying to protect that specific area. But when you don't have an injury and you still have inflammation, the question is, how do you get rid of it? There's three things specifically that we can do to lower inflammation in the body, and they usually work very quickly. Number one is diet. There's all kinds of food lists online that can tell you what is causing inflammation. If you're in an aisle that looks like this, get out. I'll make it really simple. Eliminate or really minimize processed foods. If you have a diet that's high in sugar or processed foods, it's going to be very hard to escape inflammation. Number two, in terms of what you can eat as far as foods to eliminate or reduce inflammation, you want to eat foods that are called polyphenols or polyphenols. I don't know. Polyphenols are amazing. You can find them in fruits, vegetables, and even some spices. And they're going to look a lot like this right here. You can see all the benefits when I zoom in really close. Notice specifically where it says anti-inflammation. Now with polyphenols, you're gonna have to go and find a list of these things, shop for them in your specific grocery store, find recipes that include all of these, and it might be kind of a pain in the butt and it also might get really expensive. The third way, and honestly the easiest and most cost-effective way is fasting. Fasting gives the body time to rest and recuperate. This is also a very convenient way to have your body reduce and get rid of all the sugar and processed food that's in your body. And this will give the inflammation a chance to lower naturally. One of the things that I've been using while I'm fasting is this guy right here. You just put it in some water, shake it up and drink it just like one of those hydration multipliers. But the difference here with this guy is this is gonna boost your GLP-1 naturally. So not only is it gonna 10X your results while you're fasting to help clean your body out, but it's also gonna help you reduce your appetite, feel satiated longer, and I've even lost 10 pounds in the last three weeks. Now to me, that's pretty easy and the results I'm feeling are absolutely awesome. Increased mood, increased energy, I decreased a notch on my belt, almost two notches now, and I've even been sleeping better and feeling less aches and pains in my joints. So where do you get your hands on this? Go right there, get all the information just like I did. Trust me, if it can work for me, Pretty sure it can work for you too.